What's good sports gamers and welcome back to another NBA 2K18 video where today I'm going to go over with you how to master the pick and roll. What makes it great is it's a simple yet effective way to generate offense and I'm here to show you the ins and outs of it. Alright let's get it. you can either hit the LB or L1 button on your controller and whoever is closest to you between the power forward and center and if you're the power forward the small forward or center will be your screener. The other way is to tap the LB or L1 button and then hold the icon of the player you want to come over. And for both you can let go of the button as soon as he starts to come towards you. Once he comes over to you sometimes the threat of the pick and roll is enough and the defender will run into the screen for you to get around it leaving you open. Other times you can utilize the crossover, cross escape, and has escapes to bait them into the screen before going the other way. But generally you want to limit the space the defender has to fight over the screens. So fighting over the screen will be harder for them and easier for you to blow by them if he does because you're already so close. Now once you turn the corner you want to first look for your shot. Give it a second for them to reveal their pick and roll coverage so you're certain your guy is open. Next is you look to drive to the basket. This depends on how far back the screener guy's defender is or if there's a defender there at all. I like to sometimes attempt a quick pick and roll coming up the court to try and get a quick look sometimes. But if I do notice the defender is buried deep in the paint, I just go right at him. Especially if you use somebody like John Wall or Westbrook, odds are at worst you will get a foul call. And thirdly, when you're driving, look to see where the help defender is coming from so you know where to kick it out to an open teammate at if the lane becomes jammed. Having good shooters to kick out to makes it pretty much unstoppable because then the defense can't cheat a guy over it and you can play two on ones with you and your screen guy. And if the defense is taking those three options away, look to your screen guy last. If you force them to roll, stop moving before you deliver the pass to limit the space between you two, to limit the chance of a deflection. The slowest of defenders will be able to eat here due to the pick and roll ball handler breaking down the defense, giving you chances for alley-oops and easy gives. But it's best if you have an elite finisher here to get easy buckets in traffic and and ones. And if you chose for the screen man to fade, you want to pass it to him quickly before the defense can recover in time. Now speaking of the screen guy doing different things, you'll be able to control the side of the screens by hitting the RT or R2 button. And whether you perform a pick and roll or pick and pop with the R1 or RB button, which you want to utilize if your screener can shoot. Changing the direction of the screen at the last minute serves a few purposes. It can keep your opponent on their toes because the surprise of a screen is removed because they can see everything happening behind them. So that's one way to keep the element of surprise intact. And it gets teams that like to ice the pick and roll which has the on ball defender literally block your path. You can just switch the screen to the other side. And pick and fades are perfect when the screen guy's defender drops into the lane to protect the paint. You can get creative with your pick and rolls like taking advantage of LeBron's finishing ability by having him screen for Isaiah Thomas or Durant turning into a nasty pick and pop threat for the Warriors or Joel Embiid screening for Ben Simmons if you want to get nuts. Bottom line, the pick and rolls run by every NBA team because it works and the beauty of it is no two pick and rolls are the same. A pick and roll run by Russell Westbrook is way different than one run by Steph Curry and Amari Stoudemire screening is worlds different than say Brooke Lopez. But what remains the same is if executed properly, they can break down even the best defenses. So I hope with this video, I hope I helped you to be able to get busy in the pick and roll game in NBA 2K18. And stay tuned for more NBA 2K18 content here at Sports Gamers Online. So subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all.